Good morning, y'all. Wake up. I ain't messing with y'all. I'm up. Still moving a little slow, though. It's all good. Hey, little by little to y'all. God bless y'all. Uh, y'all keep taking y'all time. I don't know what today is. Keep taking y'all time, man. Today, Friday, August 26th, 7.38. Uh, you can't have daytime without nighttime, you know? I'm going to keep on saying that because I like that. Things going to look bright sometimes. Things ain't going to look so bright sometimes, you know? Sometimes stars, ain't no sometimes. Stars only shine at night. Where Stars only shine at night. All right, besides that, be patient. Help on the way. <laughs> all right. All, um, all glory, honor, praise go to my Father in heaven. Lord Jesus and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who was due. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Where I'm going to. <laughs> Tell me the songs. Uh, songs 146. 146. <clears throat> All right. I'm still getting over this little jump for real. I don't feel like doing nothing. <laughs> but I love, I love reading. I love, I love being able to, to give what I got. I ain't, I need a haircut. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know my junk a little jacked up. Obviously, I'm not trying to win no, uh, uh, I don't care about my appearance. I ain't trying to be the most popular person or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, or whatever. But, uh, I don't do this for fun, entertainment, or fashion. Like, where? <laughs> I don't care about nobody who. <laughs> this ain't for no, like, where? Like, this out of my heart. Like, where? I love being able to read God's word. And it's a it's a blessing. And it's, it's an honor. It's an honor to be able to, to teach God's word. Uh, it always has been. It's been one of my things since the, since the Lord gave gave it to me. Like where just want to give it to other people. Like I said, I sell books and stuff, but all God's word free, and I, I don't get paid to do this. And, uh, I love doing this. But uh, Psalms one forty six, where uh, it's a blessing and an honor, and it's pretty cool to be able to do this. So. All right, Psalms one forty six. <clears throat> yeah, this means more to me than than money. Sex and a whole lot of other stuff like where it's a peace that come over my heart. I can't explain. Like where it transcends all understanding the words say. Psalms 146. <clears throat> Psalm 146. I don't know why my my words sound like they tied up. Psalms 146, verse 1. I uh, say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. Amen. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes. <clears throat> Do not put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help. Blessed are those whose help is the name of. God. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose help is in the name is in the Lord their God, whose help is in the Lord their God. Lord, give me strength to read this. Open up my uh, jump, because the jump messing with me. <laughs> Let me read that again. All right, uh, see something going on. But give me strength for it. I'm going to start back, at, start back at verse 1. Psalms 146, verse 1. Say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. Amen. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. Amen. I love that. He, uh, he, upholds, he upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves righteousness. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. All right. I'm going to pick up where I left off. Where did I leave off? 
<laughs> Luke 19. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all what I can while I can, man. Luke 19. <laughs> you got your Bibles right for it. Where? Uh, Luke 19, uh, verse 1. Zacharias, uh, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, the tax collector, with the title say. Zach, Zacchaeus. Uh, Zacchaeus, the tax collector. Uh, Luke, cha Luke chapter 19, verse 1. Brother Luke, bro. Jesus entered through Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy and was wealthy. He wanted to see let me read that again. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. I like that name, that name hard. All right. He was a he was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> He, anytime when you want to see who the Lord is for yourself, man, I like that. Where he wanted to see who Jesus was, but he was short and could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree. So this the Lord dude, the chief task collector, was there was a short guy. And he wanted to see who Jesus was, but he couldn't see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said, <laughs> and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I'm like, how you know my name, bro? I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Amen. Right up. <laughs> I like that. All the people saw this and began to mutter. He has gone to be the guest of a, he has gone to he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half I give half of my possessions to the poor. <laughs> I like that. And if and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I pay back four times the amount. <laughs> I like that. Jesus, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is the son of Abraham. Amen. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. I see you, Deuce. The parable of the ten menace with title saying. Uh, the parable of the ten menace. Uh, Brother Luke wrote. While they were listening to this, he went on to tell them a parable. A parable is an earthly story with a spiritual meaning, like where, and it everything everything God has ever said is a parable, from beginning from Genesis chapter one. You can't just read Genesis chapter one, and if you if you could if you could read Genesis chapter one, and get through it and well and, and nothing and don't nothing stand out to you, you ain't reading right or the holy or the, you ain't seeing the Holy Spirit ain't showing you something, like where because I can't get past Genesis chapter one. It's too much. We when, when everything God spoke in Genesis chapter one is perfect. <laughs> Word up. It wasn't until Genesis chapter two that God made <laughs> that that the Lord that, that, that man was made. But he, I lose y'all. I lose y'all. I don't want to lose y'all real quick. Um, I feel myself going somewhere else. I can't go there with y'all right now. But Genesis chapter one perfect. Uh, it's a why the why the world and stuff in bad shape. Lord gonna make a new heaven and a new earth. <laughs> like word. He been did all this. Like it's all in Genesis chapter one, like where? But I lose y'all right now, so just bear with me. I got caught up in this one word, a parable. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, the parable of the ten men. A parable is an earthly story with a spiritual meaning. All right. Don't lose me. The parable of the ten men. Let me keep on. Brother Luke wrote. While they were listening to this, he went on to tell them a parable. Because he was near Jerusalem, and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. He said, <clears throat> a man of noble birth went to a distant country to, to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called 10 of his servants and gave them 10 minutes. Put, in, put this money to work, he said, until I come back. But his, subjects, but his subjects hated him and sent the delegation after him to say, we don't want this man to be our king. He was made king, however, 
and returned home. He was made king, however, and returned home. Then he sent for the servants to whom he had given the money in order to find out what they had gained with it. The first one came and said, Sir, your manna has earned ten more. Well done, my good servant, his master replied. Because you have been trustworthy in, in a very small matter, take charge, of ten, take charge of ten cities. The second came and said, the second came and said, Sir, your minute has earned five more. His master answered, You take charge, you take charge of five cities. And then another servant came and said, Sir, here's your minute. I have kept it. Uh, I have kept it laid away in a piece of cloth. I was afraid of you because you are, because you are a hard man. You take out what you, you take out what you did not put in and reap what you did what you did not sow. His master his master replied, I will judge you by your own words, you wick, you wicked servant. You knew you knew you knew uh you knew, did you? Uh, hold on. You know. I don't know why I can't read this right. Y'all bear with me. Lord help me. Uh, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked servant. You knew, did you? That I, uh, you knew, did you? That I, uh, thank you. You knew, did you? That I am a hard man, taking out what I did not put in and reaping what I did not sow. Why then didn't you put my money on deposit so that when I came back, I would have collected it with interest? Then he said to those standing by, Take his men away from him and give it to the one who has ten minutes. Sir, they said, He already has ten. He replied, I tell you that everyone who has, more will be given, but the one but as for the one who has nothing, even what they have will be taken away. Uh, but those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, mm, bring them here and kill them in front of me. Mm. <laughs> That's how it's gonna go down too. But those enemies of mine, the Lord speaking. It's a parable. The, he the king. A man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then return. Okay. The subjects hated him. The subjects didn't want to serve him. All right, I'm about to get carried away. All right. To everyone who has, more will be given. But as for the one who has nothing, even what they have will be taken away. But those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, Lord Jesus, king, bring them here and kill them in front of me. Jesus comes to Jerusalem. Jesus comes to Jerusalem as king. With the title say. After Jesus had said this, uh, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage, uh, Beth, Bethphage and Bethlehem at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you and, and as you enter, you will find a coat tied there, which no one has ever ridden, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. <laughs> as they were untying the coat, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the coat? They replied, The Lord needs it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Where <are> that? <laughs> the Lord said, The Lord told two people uh, to go to the city and get this, this coat like a donkey or something. It's like a donkey. And uh, it's a donkey that ain't no one never rode before. So I guess it's a brand new donkey. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> now, we don't got, it's, it ain't too many people that take care of animals and stuff over here. Like, where, you know, I don't know, I don't know too many people that got horses and stuff. But back then, it's pretty, uh, it's like having a car or something. <laughs> it's like going to somebody's house, asking Sam, I need your car, bro. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We're just taking a car. For what? The Lord needs it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing what they saying, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, without <laughs> uh, 
I'd have been like, bro, what y'all doing at my house? <laughs> Where are y'all just taking my junk and y'all? Dang. <laughs> Lord need. All right. <laughs> All right. But anyway, let me keep going. They brought it. Uh, the owners asked. <laughs> its owners asked them, why are you untying the coat? And they replied, the Lord needs. <laughs> I bet they're looking at each other, man. These people, they, they got swords. They ain't got guns on them. Nah, they come on staff. They now they think, think we stealing from them. <laughs> no, people ain't too friendly, bro. They just go to people's house, take their stuff. <laughs> this is, I'm just saying. <laughs> but if the Lord say do it, man, all right. Uh, they replied, "The Lord needs it." They brought it to Jesus. Uh, they threw their their cloaks. They threw they threw. Uh, <laughs> they brought it to Jesus. Uh, threw their cloaks. Uh, threw their cloaks on the coat and put it on G and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. It's like their uh, jacket or something. When he came near the place uh, where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began uh, began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Uh, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. The, the stones will cry out. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over and said, As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over and said, If you, even you, had only known, had only known on this day what uh, what would bring you peace but now it is hidden from your eyes the days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment the days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment an embankment against you and encircle you and hem you in on every side they will dash you to the ground you and your you and the children within your walls they will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the, the because you did not recognize the, the time of God's coming to you. The Lord came to the people, but the people they didn't uh, they didn't they didn't recognize that part. Jesus at the temple. Jesus at the temple. What the title say? When Jesus entered the temple courts, he began to drive out those who were selling. <laughs> it is written, he said to them, "My house will be my house will be a house of prayer, but you have made a den of robbers." Every day he was teaching at the temple, but the chief priests. Every day he was teaching at the temple, but the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the leaders among the people were trying to kill him. Yet they could not find any way to do it because all the people hung on his words. <laughs> uh, Luke chapter 20. <laughs> Luke chapter 20. Uh, the authority of Jesus' question. Luke chapter 20 verse 1. Uh, Brother Luke wrote, one day, as Je one day as Jesus was teaching uh, the people in the temple courts and proclaiming the good news, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, together with the elders, came up to him. Tell us by what authority you are doing these things, they said. Who gave you this authority? He replied, I will also ask you one question. I will also ask you a question. Tell me. Hmm. Hmm. All right. They want to know who Jesus told you you can do all this stuff. <laughs> all right, let me ask you a question. I will, I, will, I will also ask you a question. Tell me, John's baptism. People, the, people get baptized. If y'all know, John, if anybody get baptized or whatever, you see people getting baptized, the Lord gave that. It was given, it was given to John the Baptist by God, okay? You don't just it, don't nobody ain't nobody just wake up one morning and say you need to get baptized and go down in the water. No, it was sent directly from God. Given God told John to do that. Okay, <laughs> Word up. Do that. Y'all understand that? All right. 
the same same way we get circumcised, come out the hospital. Most naturally now, when, if if any of y'all got children, when y'all at the eight days, I believe, when you come in the hospital, the, the doctors ask the parents, do y'all want the child to be circumcised? Yes or no? I believe it's yes. All right, if I ain't all, all right, why they do that? Because God, he, he gave it to Abraham. He told Abraham to do it. You don't just wake up with the bright idea to do these things. <laughs> word up. It all comes from it. the word. Okay. Now, why I go there? Oh, uh, John's baptism. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they wonder why Jesus, tell us how you're doing this. Jesus said, okay, I tell y'all, I'm going to ask y'all a question. You answer me. Tell me, John's baptism, was it from heaven or of human origin? <laughs> What he mean is, do it come from God or do it come from human beings? Hmm. They discussed it amongst they, they discussed it among themselves and said, they discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, he will ask, well, why didn't we? Why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, all the people will stone us because they are persuaded that John was a prophet. So they answered, we don't know where it was from. Jesus said. Neither will I tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. <laughs> we don't know where it was from. <laughs> yes, y'all do. Jesus said, well, neither will I tell y'all by what authority I'm doing these things. All right. They didn't want to agree with him because they, if they would agree with him, they had to, had to believe Jesus. <laughs> Word up. And they didn't want to go against They didn't want to go against him because the people would have killed him. <laughs> so they said, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus said the same thing. All right, well, I don't know neither. The parable of the tenants was the title say. I love, I love, I love Lord Jesus flow. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> the parable of the ten, uh, the parable of the tenants was the title say. Uh, uh, Brother Luke wrote. Brother Luke wrote. He went on to tell the, uh, he went on to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard. He rented to some farmers and went away for a long time. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants so that they so that uh, so they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants, uh, but the tenants beat him and sent them away empty-handed. He sent another servant, but that one also. <clears throat> Let me go back and read. He went on to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard. He rented it to some farmers and went and went away for a long time. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants so that they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty-handed. He sent another servant, but that one also they beat and treated shamefully and sent away empty-handed. He sent still a third, and they wounded him and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my I will send my son, whom I love. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they talked the matter over. This is the heir, they said. Let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When the people heard this, they said, God forbid. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, Then what is the meaning out of what is, which is written? The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, love, I love Jesus' jump because he, he getting off on them for real. <laughs> Where? He ain't trying to, but these people, the people said, God forbid. They know he talk, They know he talking about them. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, Then what is the meaning of which is written? The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces. Anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. Word up. Any everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces. You're gonna be broken before the Lord when you come to him. Word. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces. Anyone on whom it falls, well, yes, Lord. If the stone falls on you, will be crushed. 
Anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. The teachers of the law and the chief priests looked for a way to arrest him immediately because they knew he had spoken this parable against them. But they were but they were afraid of other people. Paying taxes to Caesar was the title saying. <clears throat> Keeping a close watch on him, they sent spies. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Gotta watch these people, man. <laughs> Word, you got watch these people, man. <laughs> Gotta watch these people. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something now. I, I love everybody. I ain't no word. I ain't no, no, don't get me twisted. Word up. Don't get me twisted at all. I'm just saying. I ain't word. I, re, I respect everybody. I don't look down on nobody. Word. Uh, I don't care who you is, black, white, Asian. I don't care what you, like, what you do or whatever. Like, uh, Man judged by the outside appearance, like I, I see people's hearts, like where. Now besides that, <laughs> I, I, I respect people, I love people. I put my trust in the Lord. Is I Jesus said, I, man, I, I, I love what Jesus said because Jesus Jesus said better than I can put. <laughs> I love, I trust people, I love people. I'm a very nice person. <laughs> I I can talk to you all day long, brother. Like where I'm, I can, where I can carry a conversation with you all day. Nevertheless. What my Lord say, uh, uh, got to be on point out here. Yeah. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Lord Jesus said, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as, be as shrewd as snakes. You better be, yeah. Because I, I know how people live. <laughs> Word up. You can't put nothing past people. Hey, people try to dig a hole for you. <laughs> Thank you stupid enough to walk in Listen, <laughs> y'all is crazy. I watch out for everybody. Yeah, I ain't afraid of nobody, but I watch out for everything, all my surroundings. Word. <laughs> ain't out here lollygagging. <laughs> ain't in la la. Ain't in la la land. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Most people just be out of it. <laughs> think on. Think don't know what's going on. But I I love it because the Lord see everything. You hear me? But nevertheless, he say be on point. Uh. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, he said, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. You see? <laughs> I like I like in the 300 movie. That movie 300, Leonidas said, cut them people up. And then the king dude, uh, that Xerxes dude, wanted to come talk to him. <laughs> and uh, he went out there by himself. <laughs> like, where? He went out there by himself. He said, hey, we can still be seven. You know what I mean, yeah, I can still talk to you, man. After we get to fighting over that, we can still talk. You know, we parlay with that. Ain't nothing. You know what I mean, still seven. <laughs> no, I hate you. <laughs> like, where? All right. But nevertheless, uh, be on point. Because, uh, yeah, because these people slit. He said, I'm sending you out like uh, sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. Now, I ain't. I ain't. Uh, <laughs> I know I said a lot. But anyway, yeah, I'm cool, calm, humble, whatever. I think before I act, but nevertheless, yeah, um, be very on point. <laughs> Word up, because these people watch. These people is crazy. Uh, I wouldn't advise you try no wild stuff with me. All right, keeping the close watch on him. They send spies. <laughs> these people wild man. Who pretended to be sincere? You see, that's what they do. They pretend to be sincere. <laughs> right. So um, all that people, boy, I, I watch all that stuff because you you can see people a mile away. You can tell who pretend who ain't pretend. Right. <laughs> they trying to get something out of there. They trying to lead you somewhere. <laughs> like word. You better miss me. Keeping a close watch on him. They sent spies who pretended to be sincere. <laughs> yeah. They hope to catch Jesus in some. He said, "Never gonna happen." <laughs> It's never gonna happen. People, people wait to catch me something, something I say. <laughs> like word, <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> they hope to catch Jesus in something he said, <laughs> so that they might hand him over to the power uh, and authority of the governor. So the spies questioned him, teacher. We know that you speak and teach what is right, and that you do not show partiality. But teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And this, this, this is these people talking. <laughs> Trying to be sincere. <laughs> Word. I bet the Lord's looking at them. All <laughs> oh, people. Wow. Teaching. We know that you speak and teach what is right and that you do not show partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. 
Is it right for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? <laughs> Y'all worry about paying taxes? <laughs> okay. Listen. <laughs> he saw right through their duplicity. <laughs> he saw he saw through their duplicity and said to them, Show me a denarius. <laughs> I love you. You see right through the <laughs> I, I love Lord Jesus style, dog. Cause you can't because I'm telling you, he ain't gonna argue with you. He gonna cut right to the point which I, I if I if I ever pick up if I ever get this damn pack, people ain't gonna irritate me. Well, I know I'm gonna always be irritated long day. Moses was the most humble man. Moses was the most humble man in the world, the Bible say. And what he did, he still got irritated. So yeah, I take that back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nevertheless, I still try to uh, mimic his style as much as I could. Word. Because he ain't gonna argue with you. He gonna show you right. He gonna show you right through. He gonna show you the, your BS in a whole nother way, and you ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it. He saw right through their duplicity and said to them, "Show me a denarius, whose image and inscription on it." He took a coin. Where he, he took a coin. He took a quarter. Some who, who, who's pay, who's face on the quarter? You got George Washington. Well, on, on this little junk, he get it, it was Caesar's. They were they were flat. He said to them, "Give back to Caesar what is Caesar." And to God, what is God's? Hmm. Word up. Who, 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 they, they, they said, is it right to pay taxes? Hmm. Who's money? Who's face on the money? Who's face on all them coins? Hmm. Them people who it belong to? Hmm. It might be in my pocket, but my face ain't on it. Hmm. Word up. I'm just saying. At the end of the day, hmm. the, the Bible say in Genesis 1, let me see. I think I'm, I think I'm on the right track. I might be off. I don't know. I don't think I'm off. In Genesis 1, verse 26, then God said, Let us, who is us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. So we made in his image. Okay. So we belong to him. The money belongs to whoever the people is or whatever. Well, he made that quite clear. <laughs> Jesus said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. That money has Caesar's uh, pictures on it, so it obviously belonged to him. <laughs> What's your face on? <laughs> what, what your name and stuff on? That's yours. <laughs> like, where? <laughs> Whatever it ain't, it ain't. <laughs> Do that make any sense to you? <laughs> I say to the people who rent cars and stuff or whatever like that, like, <laughs> you rent a car. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with you rent a car. I'm just saying, like, if you don't own that title, it's, it's their car. <laughs> Until you get that title, like, your name ain't on it. You see what I'm saying? Like, word. Or the deed or whatever. Like, word. Word. It's theirs. Get back to them. will belong to them. You can hold on to it, but it's theirs. Like, it's their junk at the end of the day. Like, word. Do that make any sense to y'all? Like, word. Hope it makes perfect sense to y'all. But, uh, Jesus hit them on the head. They came to Jesus about a question about taxes. Word. Show me a coin. Who's image on it? Caesar, they said. Well, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. Well, the money belongs to Caesar. Who what belongs to God? <laughs> Whoever the people, God's people. Why? Right, what? Word up. And they were unable to trap him. And what he said, uh, they were unable to trap him. And what he said, Lord, well, I don't know why I can't read. They were unable to trap him. And what he had said there in public, and astonished by his answer, they became silent. Amen. <laughs> The resurrection and marriage, uh, with type of sin. The resurrection and marriage, and marriage, with type of sin. Mm -hmm. hey, Y'all bear with me. The resurrection and marriage. Right. Some of the sad you see, sad you sees. Mm -hmm. These people got funny names. <laughs> they name sad you sees. Hmm, sad to see these people. Sad you sees. Hmm. Sad you sees. Where? Right. Some of the sad you sees who say there is no resurrection came to Jesus with a question. Teacher, hmm. they said, Moses wrote for us that if a man, bro, if, that if a man, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife, but and leaves a wife with no children. The man must marry the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there was seven now there were seven brothers. The first one married a woman who died childless, the second and then the third married her, and in the same way the seventh died. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married a woman 
The first one married a woman and dies childless. The second and then the third married her. And in the same way, the seven died. Uh, dang, all seven of these dudes died marrying this one girl. But anyway, leaving no children. <laughs> Finally, the woman died too. Now, now then, at the resurrection, <laughs> whose wife would she be since the, since the seven were married to her? <laughs> Jesus replied, the people of this age marry. Jesus, Jesus replied, the people of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy of taking part in the age to come and in the resurrection from the dead will neither marry nor be given in marriage. And they can no longer die, for they are like the angels. So you see, we're going to be like angels. We're not, we're not going to be, we're going to be like angels. We're going to have a body like Jesus. We're human beings, but we're going to be spiritual though, like we're. Uh, it's hard to explain that one to you, and thank God <laughs> I ain't got to. <laughs> I don't even get that all the way, but I just understand what I understand. <laughs> hey, I ain't got to be able to see the wind and no blow. <laughs> Word up. All right, let me keep going. But yeah, <laughs> these people talk, they was worried about people who married, ooh, about, say someone married, someone been married like four times, whose wife she gonna be? <laughs> Y'all been married to four people, so who's gonna be at the end? <laughs> Is God going God to really gonna re fix all this wild BS that we got, that we tricked up down here and got going on there? It ain't going to be nothing not like how we think going on. <laughs> Word up. People think it's going to be just in heaven with a home and just a family. I, I, I can't even explain that all the way, but I know it's going to be completely different. <laughs> We're going to have different minds. We ain't going to be thinking like the way we thinking now. Like, we don't even use everything that we use in there. Like, where? We can't. <laughs> where? But we're going to be completely different. All right. All right. All right, let me keep going. I love what Jesus said, though. Uh, the, pe the people of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy of taking part in the age to come and, and in the resurrection from the dead will neither marry nor be given in marriage, and they can no longer die, for they are like the angels. They are God's children, since they are children of the resurrection. But in the account of the burning bush, even Moses showed that the dead rise. For he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the teachers of the law responded, Well said, teacher. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. <laughs> uh, whose son is the Messiah? So 37. Whose son? 37 or 50. Whose son is the Messiah? Alright. Uh, what the title saying. Then Jesus said to them, Why is it said? Why is it said that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself declares in the book of Psalms. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. David calls him Lord. How then can he be his son? Hmm? You. <laughs> they couldn't answer. <laughs> warning against the teachers of the law. <laughs> uh, warning against the teachers of the law. With the title saying. While all the people were listening, Jesus said to his disciples, "Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around and they like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most and have the most important seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayer <laughs> and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely." <laughs> Word. <laughs> People be praying all day. Ain't nothing wrong with praying. I'm talking about while they in the church. <laughs> they don't pray. They don't pray. They don't pray like that at home or something. Like where? <laughs> y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all go to a church somewhere. <laughs> like where? Word. <laughs> I I can say a prayer in, in two seconds. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me. <laughs> That's it right there. <laughs> like where? <laughs> Keep moving. Word. But uh. This would be, word. I don't even want to think about it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't trying to be funny. 
But that <laughs> word, <laughs> word, they make lengthy prayers, bro. They 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 keep they they go on and on. <coughs> okay. Uh, the widow's offering. What the title say? All right, it is thirty nine. All right, the widow's offering. What the title say? Luke uh, chapter twenty one. Luke chapter twenty one. The widow's offering. Uh, Brother Luke wrote. Brother Luke wrote, wrote. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor woman put put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of the, out of their wealth. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she gave out of her poverty. Put but she out of her poverty put in all she had to live on. Word. Word. Uh, the destruction of the temple and the signs of the end times. What the title saying? Some of his disciples were remarking about how the temple was adorned with beautiful stones and with gifts dedicated to God. But Jesus said, as for, uh, as for what you see here, the time will come when not even one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. Teacher, they asked, when will these things happen? And what will the sign and what will be the sign that they are about to take that they are about to take place? He replied, uh, "Watch out that uh, watch out that you are not deceived. For many will for many will come in my name, claiming that that claiming I am He, and the time is near. Do not follow them. You will hear of wars and uprisings. Do not be frightened. These things must happen first, but the end will not come right away." Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines and pestilence in various, in various places and fearful events and great signs from heaven. Um, word. Um, they be seeing stuff in the sky and stuff now, but they don't, they don't talk about that a lot. Like it'd be, we're, we're in America. Over like in Russia and, and other places, uh, I can't think of what that place is called. It's, 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 I can't think of what that place It's like five or six different places, bro. Stuff be going on, but they don't talk about it. But anyway, yeah, they don't talk about that stuff no more. When the last time y'all heard about a rocket ship being blasted? I remember, I remember we was young. We was young, and they had, they, they, I'm, everybody around my age group when we was young, remember being in school, and they talk about spaceships, the, the rocket being blasted off or whatever. Everyone slightly remember that. Like where <laughs> it was the that when they they used to talk about that stuff when they send when they send rockets into space. Like they used to broadcast it. <laughs> like people used to go watch this stuff. They don't do that no more. They don't talk about it no more. Now it's like private programs, like it's them private program type people. They <laughs> they doing stuff private or something. Like but anyway, I don't know. I don't want to get too carried up in that because I don't really care about that wild stuff that they got going on. But but they 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 know stuff going on. They they keep it covered up. What I'm trying to say. Long story short. All right, let me keep going. Ain't no need to panic then. Um, but before all this, they will seize you and persecute you. Uh, they will hand you over to the to synagogues and put you in prison, and you will be brought before kings and governors, and all on account of my name. <clears throat> And so you will bear testimony to me, but make up your mind not to worry. Before, and yeah, make but make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves. For I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. <laughs> Amen. I love that. The Lord said, "I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. <laughs> you will be betrayed. You you will be betrayed." Even by parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, and they will put some of you to death. Everyone will hate you because of me, but not a hair on your head will perish. But not a hair on your head will perish. Stand firm, and you will win life. Amen. Hmm. I love that. That don't make you want to stop serving the Lord? Not at all. 
<laughs> what, what I got to hold on to down here for? <laughs> what? You, <laughs> what? <laughs> I got family, friends, and stuff like that to drag me right there. <laughs> Heard up. <laughs> People are already against me anyway most of the time. <laughs> what I got to lose? <laughs> Word. People's opinion? <laughs> Word. <laughs> Uh, word up. <coughs> hey, I love my family, friends. I love, like I told y'all, I like everybody. But, uh, but <coughs> people are already against you anyway most of the time. <laughs> word up. Right. Yeah. Right. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that his desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those who are in the city get out. Uh, let those uh, and let those in the country not enter the city. For this is the time of punishment and fulfillment of all that has been written. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nurse some others. There will be where I think of um where where. Man, man, you can move on your own. You got little kids and stuff, man. <laughs> all right, you, you can move on your own, all right? You got little kids and stuff. That is hard. <laughs> all right, uh, um, all right. That's actually the Lord's mercy and protection. Like, all right. You got little kids. It's hard to pick up two or three kids. And, all right, I don't even think about it, man. Let me just keep reading. Uh, <laughs> all right. How dreadful it would be in those days in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. There will be great distress in the land and wrath against this people. They will fall by the sword and will be and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Uh, Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity, and perplexity at the up at the ruin and tossing of the sea. Hmm. People will faint from terror, apprehens uh, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the hmm. at that time they will see the Son of Man coming, and the cloud will power in great glory. Amen. Word up. Jesus gonna crack the sky wide open. It's gonna be hard to look at. I can't look at the sun right now. Go out, go outside. I can't look at the sun outside in, in the sky when it's at its full at its, when it's full bright. Like it got you gotta pull one of these moves, bro. I'm telling you. Word up. You ever feel the heat from the sun when it's hot? Word. You talking I'm telling you. Word. Word up. I don't wanna get started. <laughs> the sun is like a block of ice compared to the Lord. I'm just saying, man. Word. Word. He awesome. He awesome. Just thinking about it. I lose my mind thinking about it. All right, let me keep going. All right. So the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Like, where? At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming, and the cloud will power. And great glory, when these things began to take when these things began to take place, stand up and lift up. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do right there. I'm like where, when these things start to happen, all, all the Lord's we gotta do is just stand up and look up. <laughs> where the Lord Jesus, hopefully he's gonna, ain't no hopefully he's gonna snatch us up out of it. <laughs> where the, I don't know what that's gonna feel like or whatever, cause I don't really like being on roller coaster rides. But I got on one jump, that jump they go all the way up, and that jump drop down, but. I don't like to drop down, let alone, <laughs> I don't like getting snatched up. <laughs> I ain't got no choice with this one. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Word. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't like getting on roller coaster rides, man. But I ain't got no choice but to get on this one. Because I'm sure getting on, uh, <laughs> I dang sure ain't standing down here. <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. At that time, they would see the Son of Man coming, and the cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, all we gotta do is stand up 
lift up your heads because your redemption is drawn near. He told them this parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, <coughs> excuse me. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves. Uh, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. He's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. It always has been in his plan to do this. This, he's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. <laughs> word up. Even up there, going to get made new. <laughs> like word. <laughs> Why? Because everything, Satan got kicked out of heaven to, from serving. Like where he fell, he, he fell from his position in heaven. Sin is able to, to creep in somewhere, like in, 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 the, in the realm, like in the realm. Like where the, the, the angels, they, they, could, they, could, they could still sin. They, they were, yeah, they could sin and mess up. Like where, because... They, they, the angels, they pay attention to us. I'm like, where you, you, we, we do a whole lot of looking up. They, they do a whole lot of looking down to see how we move down here, <laughs> because uh, where <laughs> to see how we serve the Lord. And like, because we, we explain it to them in a, in a better way, Lord. Uh, <laughs> the angels are, are stronger and they more uh, sophisticated and stuff. <laughs> but we. They, they they don't get they don't get they don't they don't have to be saved. You see what I'm saying? Then like they 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 not going through what we got to go through down here or whatever. They, they 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 pay close attention to how we live our lives down here. Like where I think we help them serve the Lord. I think we from them watching us they they kind of get some stuff. They kind of get some points on how to serve the Lord too. Like they know how to serve the Lord real good, but they see how we is down here. Like they. they it's hard to explain that one to y'all, but it's, it's it's in there though. Like where the angels, they pay, they pay attention to us. Mm -hmm. Y'all bear with me. Bear with me for a sec. First Peter chapter one. First Peter chapter one. I got eight minutes. <laughs> the pages don't want to turn. <laughs> First Peter chapter one. Uh, yeah, stop playing with me. If I can get there, man, y'all bear with me. No, it's right here somewhere. All right. First Peter chapter one, verse twelve. I believe. Mm. First Peter chapter one, uh, verse twelve say, "It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves, but you, when they spoke of the things that they have now been told that uh, that have now been told you by those who have been pre that who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, even angels long to look into these things. Uh, they look into the things that we do down here, like where, all right." Uh, let me keep it going. If I lose one, what's going on? That's where I stop at. Mm. All right. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down. Well, uh, be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing 
drunkenness and the anxieties of life, and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on the for it will come on all those who live on the face for it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. Word. <laughs> Word. Be always on watch and pray that you may be, be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Each day Jesus was teaching at the temple. He uh, Each day Jesus was teaching at the temple. And each evening he went out to spend the night on the hill called the Mount of Olives. And the people came came early in the morning to hear him at the temple. To hear him at the temple. I don't mean to cut y'all short for the five minutes, but I'm going to have to. <laughs> God bless y'all, then. God bless y'all. Hey, best time y'all can have. Best time you can spend time with God. That's why I like what Pastor Troy said. Like, you're never, you never going to get step two till you take step one. It's people who are trying to get step 20, 30, 40, and 50. You never get, you never take step one. Like, where it's taking God at his word. That's the blessing, man. That the... Um, uh, let God's word go into your heart. You know, you know. Keep asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. Like, where if he ain't gave it to you, he's going to give it to you. Where it's just like hopping in the shop. Like, where. Um, all right. Without getting too carried away with y'all. Yeah, y'all keep praying for him. I keep praying for y'all, too, man. Keep asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to y'all. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all again.